Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So today we will discuss about rollback strategies in DevOps. So let's go. We will understand that how do we implement the rollback strategy uh, in our, you know, for our application in DevOps. So uh, this, whenever you are going to give an interview, then uh, there will be a question like, how have you implemented the rollback strategies in your uh, implemented the rollback strategies in DevOps for your application? Uh, this is one of the most important thing that you should know that if any issue occurs, like if you have done the deployment and the deployment you have done using the rolling update or you know blue green or canary deployment, whatever deployment you have done. But in case the deployment that you have done, it is not working as expected, so you need to roll back. So in that case, how will you do the rollback? Is that plan? Is that strategy? Have you worked on it or have you, you know, do you know how you can do it? So you should have a, a good, if you say yes, you should have a good explanation about it. So uh, I will dis we'll discuss that only today. So if you have created, uh, of course, we'll say that, yeah, uh, whatever we are, you know, uh, pushing the artifacts or pushing the Docker images in Docker Hub, or if you are, uh, if we are, you know, pushing the artifacts in uh, the, in, uh, in Nexus or whatever artifactory, if it's a cloud artifact, then whatever artifactory you're using there, you can, you'll mention that, correct? So once you mention that, uh, that there we are pushing, so we have already the previous build, we can, uh, we can, you know, use that build, previous build, and uh, then uh, the rollback can be done. But is it a correct way if you will say like this? No. That, uh, so how have you done this implementation in your Jenkins pipeline or whatever pipeline script or whatever pipeline you are using? So how have you done that implementation in your pipeline that needs to be discussed? So if suppose one scenario I am giving that uh, what I am doing, I am pushing the Docker image in Docker Hub. After that, I am updating the Kubernetes manifest file uh, with the latest Docker image. And this Kubernetes manifest file is in GitHub repo. After that, Flux CD or your any, uh, you know, uh, so uh, any deployment uh, tool that I'm I'm using Flux CD or Flux CD is that doing the deployment. Okay. So this is what my flow is. Correct. So if in case uh, this has worked and in uh, the error has came after the deployment flux cd has picked up that new image and once that new image uh, was picked up it didn't work properly so it didn't work properly now so i have to roll back so what will be my strategy that whatever docker have images uh, that whatever images i have uh, published in docker hub And this I'm talking about the microservice architecture. When my uh, application is following the Marcos microservice architecture, so for each service, there is separate Docker file. Okay, for each service, there is separate Docker file. Okay, so suppose for one service you you see you uh, you saw that the error has occurred after the deployment for any one service so uh, for what i will do that images that i have published in docker hub so not the latest but the image 
previous to the latest one now what if you do that should get picked up that should be updated again to the kubernetes manifest file right because the latest one which has been published is the one which is uh, showing the error so the one which has uh, so update manifest file with the image previous to the latest hub latest one so this is my strategy so as soon as i'll update the manifest file with the image previous to the latest one uh, after that again the flux cd will pick up uh, that will see the changes and it will uh, you know do that changes on the kubernetes cluster so uh, that is my rollback strategy that i am following so in this case what you will do either you create a separate pipeline okay so in one in that pipeline only where you are uh, you know work pushing the uh, there will be one pipeline where which is doing all this so one pipeline is doing this so this is our main pipeline flow okay which is doing all this so in this uh, main pipeline everything is happening but in case uh, uh, that uh, if we see that there is an issue with any file or uh, with any service then we should have a second pipeline where uh, we it our service name should be an input so if suppose we are giving the service name as input so for that service only uh our uh, rollback should happen okay so that's why i am taking the service name as input once service name is uh and in this pipeline what it should do that it should query query the image one to query the image previous image from the latest one then update the so this this part will be executed in our second pipeline that will be our rolling one rollback pipeline so second pipeline will be our rollback pipeline okay so in this uh, we can query the image there are you know in docker we have docker apis to you know uh, in docker hub we can query the image using docker hub apis that we can do for that uh, just in our jenkins agent jq jq should be installed jq should be installed on the agent on the Jenkins agent where the pipeline is getting executed and in this way we can you know uh, get the previous one using the query and then we'll update accordingly the image and then we will update the manifest file so this is one way okay this is one way second way is that before updating the file in our main pipeline when we are updating the kubernetes manifest file so before updating the file what we can do in main pip pipeline can we store can we store the image in a file and store it in archive 
artifacts in Jenkins. If any issue occurs, so what we can do? We can again update the manifest file image tag with the one that we have stored. So what is when we what is our in our manifest file? What is it? We uh, uh, it is a YAML file, okay? And there we mention the container, container, and from which container, container name, then which image this container. So if we save this uh, line before updating, when we are updating over here, if we save this part of line or if we save whole Kubernetes manifest file in archive artifact, if uh, before making the changes, so if we, uh, you know, add one more step over here, uh, saving the current manifest file in archive artifacts and then updating it so if any issue occurs so we can what we can in, sec in our second pipeline what it can do it can directly fetch the archive artifacts file then again update the manifest file so that the flux cd can pick up so in this way we can do two things these are one of two things that we can follow doing the rollback strategy if this is a scenario so i've given the scenario proper how it the flow will be how we can plan this uh, role so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye